Hey everyone, welcome back, it's Shaylee. Um, so, first of all, I'm sick. I know I was literally just sick, but my boyfriend got sick and got me sick. So now I'm sick. Now that we've got that settled. Um, second of all, I just filmed this video half an hour ago. When to edit it? No audio. None. What? I don't even know what happened. I literally pre-recorded two videos and now I have to re-record them and it's midnight. So what is, what is, okay. So, we're going to try and breeze through this so I can pre-record the other one, edit them, and get some sleep because it's the day before Thanksgiving. And I should probably get some rest. Um, especially because it's sick. Okay. So, enough jibber jabber. The main reason for this video, if you couldn't tell from the title, is I'm going to do a pan that palette challenge in 2015. But I have three palettes that I don't know which one I want to try and pan. So I want to ask you guys which one you think I should pan. Um, I'm also going to leave my Instagram down below and I'm going to upload those pictures so rather you can comment down below and tell me which one you think I should use or you should comment on the Instagram photo and tell me you think you if which one you think I should use whatever one's easier for you so let's just jump right in to the palettes because yet again I'm going to try and breeze through this without making this like a what 20 minute long video like I always do. So the first one I have, if you're gonna guess, is my Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. It is an eight pan palette, which means that ow, I just pinched my finger. That hurt. Okay. Um that means that there's eight eyeshadows and I've been panning this brown shade right here for my finish six by Christmas. But I've been really liking these three right here. And I really do like this brown. And I like this whole side as well. Especially this silver up here. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really considering panning this palette. Even though, you know, I've already started and obviously have hit. Have hit. I have hit pan on the top three eyeshadows. Because I use them literally every single day. So this is option number one. Okay, number two is my LA Girls 12 Pan Eyeshadow Palette in Traditional. Um, it's BEP421. Yeah, I said that right. Traditional. And it's just like a nice warm neutral palette. I've never really used this palette except for swatching it. But whenever I swatch it, I think the colors are so pretty. And I don't know why I don't use it. So I'm thinking about trying to pan this palette to show it some love. So this is option number two. Okay, and you can get this at the dollar store for I think three dollars maybe. You can get this um for like five dollars. I know I got it at five dollars from my grocery store. So five dollars, three dollars. I think this one is three. Ooh, drop every video. Every video you gotta jump drop something. Um so the last eyeshadow that I have is another LA Girls 12 pan eyeshadow, but as you can see, it's in different packaging. And this one is also called Traditional, but it's CES C E S 131 Traditional, and the colors are different. I have swatched both of them, and this one's much more warm, like it has more red tones in it, and like more ready toned coppers. And I really do like this one. I've used it a couple times, but I always end up putting it back in my makeup collection, and I don't know why. So this is option number three that I'm thinking of using. Well, panning. Attempting to pan, at least. So, um, let me know down below what you think. Just tell me option one, option two, or option three. And at the end of December, I'm just going to tally them all up. And whichever one has the most votes is the one that I'm going to be panning. So, 
just to recall everything. Option number one, wet and wild comfort zone. Option number two, BEP traditional LA colors. Option number three, um, CES traditional LA colors. So these are the three options. I know they're all neutrals, but I just kind of, I'm feeling the neutrals. And I use neutrals a lot, so I might as well get rid of one of my neutral palettes, don't you think? Okay, so let me know what you guys think down below on my Instagram. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.